Sean Posey. Uh, Sean, you figure pretty prominently in the book. You're actually on the cover. Uh, how did they approach you about the photo, and why do you think they chose it? You know, that um, that particular photo has gotten a lot of play. Uh, I took that, uh, I probably took that actually just a few days before Black Monday, uh, the 30th anniversary uh, at an old Youngstown sheet and tube mill. And I kind of think that's how they found me, was, was through that photograph. So I have a lot of photographs in the book, but I think that was, was pretty much how they, you know, they got a hold of me and, uh, uh, you know, how that ended up becoming the cover shot. Why do you think they chose that image? I think it's it's very evocative of what people think about when they think about Youngstown. It's it, it's kind of a haunting image. You know, some people might say it's a little bit of a depressing image, but it certainly sums up kind of the end of one section of, of Youngstown's history, uh, but not necessarily the end of Youngstown, which I think is also what the book's about. It's about the past. Uh, it's about the present, but it's also about the future. And uh, what is, how, how do you think the book speaks to well, I think it's it's such a diverse uh, group of authors, uh, and everybody brings something a little bit different to it, depending on age, uh, their background, you know, how they came to know Youngstown, whether they live there uh, now or whether they lived there in the past. So I think it's about as good a job as you could do uh, of kind of summing up the Youngstown experience through uh, essays of individuals that have been uh, touched by the city.